Welcome to Dark Talk Gaming. The video game industry is in trouble. Here's why. From uh, February of this year. And when game journalists, put that in quotes, game journalists, put articles online and start saying, look, game industry is in trouble. No. All right. The game industry is not in trouble. The AAA game companies are the ones who are in trouble. Because, yes, layoffs last year or this year. And we found uh, this year they've been spending hundreds of millions of dollars on making their games. You're not making a movie. Okay. You're making a game. Just stop. Stop spending so much. Stop wasting so much. Why have the costs ballooned? I would suggest because of DEI consulting. You have to pay all these people money to tell you how to ruin your game. And then we have Black Myth Wukong, which is not in trouble. Uh, Conquered, yeah, in trouble. Uh, apparently, Conquered is still under active development. This is an article from October 9th. Why in the world would Sony want to try to uh, save this? I mean, really, they've already spent so much money, wasted so much time. Just, you know, learn from your mistakes and, and don't do it again. Why would you want to buy this for a dollar as the servers are shut down? But any games aren't having trouble. Any game, Backpack Battles has 100,000 copies sold, also peaking over 32,000 current players. This game is made using the Godot engine. Yes, you can make good games with the Godot engine. The problem with the Godot engine right now is the people in charge of it, the Godot Foundation, who also decide who's the community management team on the forums, and they're they're more interested in uh, hating their customer base, indie devs and gamers, and trying to do everything they can to burn their engine's community to the ground. Yeah. So, but yeah, you know, the, the Godot engine, you can make games with it. Rideau, the Rideau engine is a fork of the Godot engine. And why should you use that? Because you don't have a community management team that wants to suicide the engine. So we are pleased to announce that we have an artist section of our game development Discord set up, whether concept art, traditional or otherwise, or digital art. If you are an artist interested in working with or working alongside game devs, this is the place you will want to be. We highly recommend you interact with community and get involved. We look forward to all the wonderful art that will be done on this channel. Furthermore, we will soon be announcing an artist-specific community contest for submissions. Have a wonderful time, everyone make game. So yes, uh, indie devs, uh, not every indie game is a success, but uh, I guarantee you indie <laughs> indie devs, even though they're making less money than AAA games, they're making a profit. Whereas AAA games are appear to be struggling to make a profit right now. Uh, and then we have this, this um, super supermarket simulator. It No preaching, no political stuff, doesn't tell you who to vote for, doesn't tell you what you should be thinking. It's just a game. You're going to simulate getting out of a supermarket, owning a supermarket, making money, running a business. That's all it is. It's just a game uh, made from uh, Turkish, Turkish developers. And it's a small budget game. And so, yeah, they've made bank. They've made lots of money from this. Uh, I guarantee you they've made a profit. So <clears throat> the game industry is not in trouble. The game companies are AAA games that are going away from making games are the ones who are in trouble. Okay, gamers are really simple. We want to play games and have fun. We don't care who you are. We don't care about your politics. If you make a game that's fun, chances are it's going to be bought and played. But if you make a game and then throw in your politics and preach at us, no, we're not going to be interested. So it's, it's very simple. Just make games. Stop all the preaching. Stop all the DEI nonsense. Just make games. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to play games and have fun.